Hello! This is a follow-up video to our huge curbside shopping haul video of a couple of weeks ago. I have all of this clothing that we picked up that day and I need to go through it right now and organize it because I have the Vietnam vets coming in the morning to pick up a donation. It's late. I'm tired. I've been cleaning all day and we're going to get this done. Hi. Mooji, 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 mooji. Go. Oh, cat hair. <laughs> keep seeing the coat rack behind me in the doorway and it's, it's freaking me out. I keep thinking it's frugal daddy sneaking up on me. Okay, get on with it. This shirt. We have this shirt. Now we have two of this shirt. It's a big sleepy shirt for one of the girls. And very rarely do I ever have matching clothing for them. I mean, they're obviously not identical twins, but I'm not into that whole dress your twins alike thing. But once in a while, once in a while, we have matching outfits. And now they're gonna have matching sleepy shirts with this cool bear. Daddy, are you, are you moaning in the background? What are you doing? Oh, God. Another t-shirt, another sleepy shirt for the girls. Basically, I did this with my older daughter, too, when she was growing up. I would get t-shirts too big so that they would be big, loose, sleepy shirts, and then eventually they'd grow into them and wear them as a shirt. We have another shirt a lot like this that has surfboards on it. I know these are llamas, but it, it is reminiscent. It is yellow with colorful surfboards. I think that's cute. I really like llamas. Who doesn't like llamas? <gasps> Daddy, we should get a pet llama. <gasps> a baby llama. A baby pygmy llama. What do you... The kitten is not a llama. Another t-shirt. My little pony. Uh, 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 uh. Weirdly enough, I don't feel like that's the first time I've sung that song on my freaking frugal channel. That's a keeper too. Now, here's something pink and fuzzy. I know the girls want this. But you know what I've always found weird about these things? It's so fuzzy and soft on the outside, but it's not on the inside. I keep looking over at Frugal Daddy like, he's like my Ed McMahon. I'm Johnny Carson. Don't you want to feel the furriness on the inside? I feel like the furry should be on the inside. Wouldn't that have been a great show if Ed McMahon was off camera and then he Johnny, off camera the whole time? John, yeah, Johnny would have to talk to off camera like you're doing. Yeah, that would have been a great show. Yeah. Oh, here's something red. Very, very red. Daddy, this looks like a daddy shirt. It's a big red daddy polo shirt for people who play polo. It's a large. Red's a tough color. Red's a tough color. I was just going to say, time for you to model it. Model the red shirt. Why is it? Why is red a tough Man. color? I thought men loved red. Isn't that all men's favorite color? Have you, you ever don't... seen me wear a red shirt? No. No. It's a tough color. I don't understand it. You don't understand it? You don't understand red? You have to try it on. Now? You all want to see Frugal Daddy try on the red shirt, right? And find out why. Why is it such a tough color? I don't think this would be a tough color for you because red shirts go with dark hair. And you have dark hair. Here you go. Try it on. Oh, also, similarly, a purple polo. Purple polo shirt. You can try the purple polo on after the red polo. Man, is it soft. It's soft, isn't it? Yeah, this is really soft, too. There's Daddy struggling in really? to that red shirt. It goes nicely with your shorts. I think that looks good on you. That, that is not a hard color for you. That looks really good. Oh, you look like you're... Oh, my hair. Um, well, you were napping for the last six hours, so your hair has that look. Look at yourself. I don't have my glasses. All I see is red. Whoever, that also looks good. Whoever was button the top button. You know what I'm I'm finding interesting about these two shirts? They're both men's. Extra larges and they fit No, now? they're large. They're not extra large and they're loose on you. There's the purple. Very soft. Man, these are... Is this what a real polo shirt feels like? Apparently. Here's another girl shirt. It has the Ethel Tower on it, obviously. Wow. <laughs> This might be a keeper for me. It is a black Talbot's blouse. Short sleeve. Tailored. Frugal Mummy's got herself a new black blouse. Why would somebody get rid of that? That's a nice blouse. Unless they changed sizes drastically. In towns like that, they just buy new clothes. Apparently. 
because of the season. Just for fun? Yeah, well, it's not in style next year. Here's something red, a red blazer. That looks like a Talbot's. It's not, it says Kate Hill. Are you familiar with that brand? All right, there we go. I don't know, red's a hard color. Not with a black, yeah. Not with a black shirt, no, but. I don't know, I don't, I don't know that I would ever wear a red blazer. You know what I'm saying? It's classic. It's classic, I know, but I'm not a classic kind of gal. Is it too small? Look. Do we think it's maybe a little too small on my arms? Not that I ever do this when I'm wearing a blazer. Ah. Another child's t-shirt. Garuve. We have a blue zipper up sweatshirt with a Boston Red Sox thing. Okay, donate, donate, donate. A little pink Oshkosh zipper upper sweatshirt. And yes, I found another Frugal Mommy Keeper Land's End. Is this black or navy? I can't even tell in this light. It has a feather on it. It's a, you know, it's a, it's not a hoodie. It doesn't have a hood. Zipper upper fleece. Oh, the zipper has lost its little, um, I have one of a pull thing. No, I'm going to put like a, I'll put a, a pull chain from gonna, a, a light, a lamp. Okay. Yeah, from I'm going to put a pull chain from a lamp. No, closet. I'll put like a little hippie bead on it. I like Land's End. Here we have a little blouse. I know it kind of looks like a dress, but it's it's a blouse because it is a size six for a six-year-old. I like tie-dye, so I think yes on that. It's like um, we have found like a, a parallel universe family with all the same sizes as us. Well, here's a blouse. A sweater. Oh, this is a big neck sweater. You don't know how you'd look. I'll try it on just because you're goading me into it, but I, I don't like the um I don't like the big neck style. And you know I don't wear brown. I don't know, Daddy. What do you think? Should I keep it? I don't know. You might want to um Oh make it go down like a neck? Yeah. It's just too big. No, it's just it's just not me. I don't feel I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Okay, this is a skirt from Express. Oh, a hat! Mount Vernon, Virginia. Now we don't have to go to Mount Vernon because we've already got the hat. This is an Izod. An Izod windbreaker. That looks pretty looks nice. Like it's never been worn. Now, why don't you try that on? We have some blue jeans. Wait a minute, where's the hat? This totally goes. The hat goes with the windbreaker. You look like you're a reporter on the Weather Channel. Frugal Daddy's new career, Weather Channel reporter, and you love weather. And you got that little, um, what was that weather thing you got? The stormy cloudy thing. Yeah. An olive military thing? Yeah. I think it's too small for me. This is a black dress. Nick and Zoe. Right? Obviously wear it over shorts and a shirt. I feel like it's twirly. We have four beige hand towels and four brown. And the label says... Oh, oh, you get, guess what it is. Guess, guess. You just field guess. Crest. It's not field crest. Macy's? No, where we would never buy towels. Talbots. Restoration hardware. Oh my God. We have history with restoration hardware. It's a whole long story. You don't want to hear it. Yeah. Look, this is sporty. Adidas. We have a nice green v-neck lightweight wool sweater. Another skirt. It has zazzy side zippers. Charles Tierwit. You're right. Tierwit. Weekend wool. I think you need that. You might never make it to London. You better have the sweater. You might never buy a sweater like this. Have a, an athletic top. Hot pink purple pumps. Another athletic type top. Eastern Mountain Sports. It's it's for people who jog and exercise. Which I'm or never going to do. Like to jog and well, exercise. Okay, this is a good one. I thought it was slacks when I pulled it out. And it's not. It's a dress, and it has the cleaning tag still on it, which is always nice. It's a little black dress. You leave the cleaning tag on it. I'm not leaving the cleaning tag on it because I want to surprise you with the name. Restoration Hardware. It's not Restoration Hardware. Blue black dress and tailor. This is the best garbage Christmas. clothing we've ever gotten. It's the best Christmas in June we've ever had. It's a stretchy fabric. It has some <laughs> give to it. I like a fabric with some give. 
Ooh, might be a little tight. It's a simple little black dress that you pair with your shorts and uh, with your shorts and your shirt and your red blazer. I think this is what I will wear when I become a motivational speaker. Ooh, this is soft. This is also Ann Taylor. This is a soft Ann Taylor sweater. It feels like Angora. Oh my God, feel how soft this is. Feel. feel Don't get it dirty. Keep by it wiping it on you. Why is somebody bagging up their Ann Taylor clothing? Another skirt. Oh, Ann Taylor. We have another Ann Taylor item. A little beige skirt. Classic. Cla Oh, I don't think so. I would not pair the beige skirt with this mustardy yellow top. That's that would just this head loft. It would just wash you out. No, it's just flat out Ann Taylor. Well, somebody liked Ann Taylor because this isn't Ann Taylor blouse. Ann Taylor doesn't even let me in their store. I it's been years since I've been in an Ann Taylor. It's a brazier. Whoa. Thirty six double D. Well, bras are a really good donation. We have another item that still has the dry cleaning label in it, and it is an Ann Taylor sweater. Alright, this feels like... Oh, Lord and Taylor. This feels like cashmere. Little sleeveless cashmere top. That's Coach. I saw it. Yes. You're trying to surprise me. <laughs> I might wrap that up for you. I know. Here's my Christmas present. It's a little Coach bag. I think our keep pile is getting too big and our donate pile is not big enough. Oh, I think we got another polo for you, Daddy-o. A white to go with your purple and your red? Yes, yeah. why not? Oh, Daddy's getting a vest. A Brooks Brothers vest. Wouldn't this look good with your knickers when you go golfing? Oh, oh, here we go. It was like yesterday. Yep, Ooh, look at this, yellow. look at this. Bright yellow polo sweater. Oh, Daddy, we have to join a country club so you can show off your new wardrobe. We have a burgundy polo blouse for daddy it's all your size green polo pretend you never saw any of this i'm wrapping this up for christmas for you. okay now this is a tough one to try on because it's about 85 degrees here and three million percent humidity but i will try it on for you this is an ann klein coat and it feels very warm it has the furriness on the inside you know that i was complaining about before with the little fleecy thing it's got a kind of a I don't know what this is on the outside. You microfiber, new buck. Ooh. <sighs> oh, 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 so warm. Oh, so cozy. Oh, yes. We have a silken blouse. Look. See, that's the kind of thing I like. A little colorful, little hippie purse. We have a Michael Kors short skirt. That is an Ann Taylor skirt. This is also an Ann Taylor skirt. I like the swishiness of this skirt. It's swishy. I like it. Oh my god, we could become swing dancers. And I could wear this. And then we would like swish. Daddy, you want to learn how to swing dance? Yeah, oh, okay, okay. It's all coming together. So this, this might go with a red blazer. A little Cold Water Creek tank top in a, what would you call this color? I would call it coral got lace at the bottom. A Lord & Taylor 100% cashmere black sweater. Whew. In my size. <laughs> In my size. Who bags this up? Oh my gosh. I love this. We have a little Talbot's tank top in a kind of an apricot color. We have four brand new, never been used, tag still on, Pier 1 chair Wrapping Halloween decorations. Four yeah, you know of them. What? Basil's on the stairs. Polo, 100% cotton, extra large sweater. I feel like my mother has given you this sweater. Yeah. And you wouldn't wear it, but white. now that you found it by the side of the road, that's a nice sweater, Dwayne. That is a nice sweater. Oh, I like that kind of zippery thing on you. Wow. All I can say is wow. Thanks for watching, everybody. So, what would your Weather Channel reporter name be? Bob. Would, Bob? Let's go to Bob. I think it's more like, you know, because this is so, this is so outdoorsy. It's, it's like Clint. Clint. Dirk. Dirk. Dirk Diggler. And you now, know that, You and know now, what, when you said, what would your name, what, the first thing that went through my head was Dirk Diggler. I'm, I can't No I, way! I said, I can't say that on... That's your weather reporter name.
Obviously. And now, live at Pompano Beach, reporting on that hurricane, let's go to Dirk Diggler. Thank you, Marcy. It's really windy here. Okay. Signing off.